The last 15 years have witnessed a dramatic new appreciation for the science of our private parts. The animal kingdom is home to an astounding array of penises and vaginas, each with a shape and function selected carefully by evolution. Welcome to the world of the weird and wonderful. Take the squid, for instance. During mating, the male will release a spermatophore, a kind of sperm grenade, which detonates to release the sperm cells that then stick to the female body. But how are we to understand genitalia? Are penises instruments to court a female? Like the crane fly, who has a vibrating device on his penis. Mm. Or are they used to combat rivals on females' turf? Mm. Like the male damsel fly, who scoops out any sperm left in the vagina from its rivals before insemination. But it could also be that it's all about who's in charge of fertilization. Females only want the best DNA for their eggs. But males want to reproduce as much as they can. This creates a conflict of interest. The female can have an internal selection mechanism, like the dung fly, which is able to store the sperm of super sexy males, increasing their chance of fertilization. Or the female plumbing can become a labyrinth, making it hard for the sperm cells to reach their goal unless they get help from the female. But males will try to adapt to these obstructions and even avoid the vagina altogether. And this can take some extreme forms, like the bed bug. <coughs> Nature's naughty bits are where evolution performs its greatest tricks. Now on show for all in this new book.